Yo, guys, what is up? It's Teach here coming at you again with another video over on Ark Survival Ascended. And this is kind of a overall everything people have been asking me to do this, a video settings tutorial, whether you want to go to and this kind of describes how you change it on the scale. If you were to look at a scale literally being left and right, right being the best FPS that you can get left being the best quality you can get and everywhere in between i'm going to walk you through how to change every setting in order to customize your own arc experience in order to get the best fps or to get the best quality making that choice up to yourself now if you don't mind smash that like button leave a comment below for the algorithm and then consider subbing to the channel now this guide will work for both console and uh, pc console you're just not gonna be able to change some of the settings because you won't be able to do it but that's up to you so anyways first things First, if you don't mind, smash that like button, leave a comment below for the algorithm, and then consider subbing to the channel because I'm getting close to 100K and that's kind of been my dream all along. And that's all I got to add. So outside of that, it's the only plug. But first things first, FPS. So if I type in FPS into my console commander for console users, the command is going to be stat FPS. On the middle right of my screen, you're going to notice there's an FPS tracker and then there's also going to be a latency. So a, a 20 millisecond uh, latency, I believe is uh, the number I'm getting in there. Um, but it's going to give you the exact tracker of what the actual stats you're getting. It'll show you how it changes with individual things. Now, I will go into console commands that you can change. Some of the important ones being right there um, for my PC users. Use your tab command for my console users. Go into your console access um, through your advanced settings. Now, I'm not going to enter those right now because that's not what I'm trying to show you just right off the bat. Right. So if you go into your settings, you've got a couple of commands that you can change. So video, right? This is just suggestions. Do not run advanced graphics unless you're running a 4070 plus or a 3080 Ti plus, right? Those are the two things do not run epic on any of those right so all of this let me explain to you whether like left end right end like i talked about earlier advanced graphics you can chew whatever you want it's going to change anyways but so view distance you want that on the highest thing that your computer can handle the higher that is able to be placed upon the better off you are for both pve and pvp now textures right this is one that's very heavy on your computer you can drop this to low for maximum fps or put it to high for extreme um, ability to see everything post-processing this one's less important in my personal opinion you can drop this down to medium or high for both ends of the spectrum it doesn't change a whole lot so don't worry about that general shadows right these turn to low we'll show you how to do this without doing this in a second here will be a big impact upon your game again for the most part all of these turning them to low is going to be how you maximize your fps and turning them to the right or high epic is going to be how you get your best like view experience in the game things you can turn off for both experience and fps though turn off motion blur light bloom light shafts that's going to jump your fps by like at least 20 or 30 right off the bat don't even don't even deal with that right it's it's gross it's not fun next thing turn off enable foliage and fluid interaction unless you're playing this game by yourself if you were playing this in any competitive standpoint this is costing you everything don't use that now that means that these three don't matter so don't have that this is also turn that off if you want to increase your fps now the next thing rtx this this is up to you guys. This is more for my PC users, not for my console users. Sorry. Uh, NVIDIA DLSS, you can turn that off to increase your overall FPS. Um, some people claim that it works better with it turned on. I I don't think so. In my personal opinion, it just it's causing more strain on your computer. Um, but again, you can choose your super resolution, whether you want quality balance, anything across the board. I like quality because I like to play this game, not for FPS, but for all my other settings. Now UI, these are a few things in here you can change. Only two I want you to key in on though. Floating names, turn those off if you're struggling because turning those off will allow you to only see the, or your tames are gonna be turned off. That's going to allow you to not have 400 names on your screen big big difference now the next one you can turn on or off hide floater player names or floating player names you can turn that on or off it'll help a little bit but minimally right now the last thing camera right this is pretty important field of view that turned higher is going to cost you more so if that's turned higher yes it's going to give you an advantage but it's going to cost you more turn that camera shake down that's also going to cost you so those are just your generic settings that you want to be aware of right off the bat i know that was kind of quick but you can probably figure most of those out on your own the important ones that you want to kind of key into, not necessarily in this range, for my console users, make sure you click console access on, and that's going to give you access to all of these next settings. Now these, right? 
you can see my game is sitting at 60 FPS right now, right? And I am moving around doing things. It drops down to as low as like 39, but I am on Epic settings running on a 3090 Ti, which is a pretty good graphics card. And I've got everything cranked all the way up. I like my arc experience to be this way. If I'm playing PVP, absolutely not. I'm turning everything down because it doesn't matter. But I like looking at the pretty. Now, what I want to show you and for my console users, all of this is done in your by hitting escape and going into your console commands for anyone else. If you hit tab, you can see all of this stuff right here. So the big commands you want to focus in on shadow quality one and zero shadow quality one and zero. Putting it on one is going to make sure that shadows are completely normal and you have shadows inside of your game. Putting it on zero, I'll show you what that does before I go right on back to going back to it. Turn shadows off. You can see a lot better. Your view distance goes up because shadows are not blocking your distance and it gives you an overall advantage. Turning it back on will also decrease your FPS, but make the game look prettier. So that's your big one. Now, the second thing I want to show you, I'm going as quick as I can through these. I'm sorry. I know this is it's, it's a lot of stuff. Uh, your material quality. There are four settings for this. Zero material quality is the lowest that you can go just to show you what that looks like. There you go. It is not pretty. It turns everything to grayscale. It is good for PVP purposes because it highlights people and tames, but that's that's the that's really it. That's the only big value of that one. Turning it to one is going to make it high settings, so it's going to turn it to high setting. Turning it to two is going to turn it to medium settings. You can see it's a medium setting right there, so there's some small changes. And then turning it to three is going to be your epic setting. Epic setting is going to be obviously the most costly on your PC, but it looks the best. So those are the things. Same thing with console users. Those are your four settings that you can change for those. Now, obviously, everything cranked down, if you haven't figured it out, down to the lowest possible setting is how you get the best FPS. But for the best viewing experience, you're going to crank it all the way up. And some of these commands you can actually change and save in your console tab. Now, volumetric cloud one is going to make sure there are clouds in the sky. Volumetric cloud zero will remove all clouds from the sky, right? Big changes. That's that's I know it is what it is, but that's going to be just to show you exactly what it does. So that's volumetric cloud zero. Now, the next one you can go up to volumetric fog, right? Volumetric fog is your kind of like if you want to think of the fog of war, um, whenever you have fog or it's difficult to see in a distance that can be turned off. As soon as you hit zero, it's going to mess with that a little bit. Did I just type that in wrong? I think I may have typed that in wrong. No, I typed that in right. Okay, so volumetric fog is a big one. So you can also, if you don't know these commands, by the way, you can type in R dot volumetric and you'll be able to see the different volumetric and you can type in fog and then you can see that I have options to type zero or whatever I want to do. And you can do that inside of water to actually increase your view distance in water as well. So if you turn both the cloud and the fog to zero, it's going to allow you to have much better view distance for PVP and better overall settings for uh, FPS, but worse settings for the quality of your game. Now, there's another one that this one takes a little bit to get inside of the game, right? This is your grass setting, your grass setting. You can see all that grass beneath me right now, right? It's meant to look pretty. It's meant to make changes in. It's meant to be a quality aspect. It's not meant for your FPS. It drops your FPS a ridiculous amount. Turning that off alone is going to crank up your FPS right off the bat because it's also going to make things easier to see and your view distance go up quite a bit. So because your computer or console is not rendering those things in, it takes a second to get them all to go away, by the way, as you're seeing right now, it it saves a whole bunch of strain on your device, making it much easier to move around, making it much easier to go through all of these things and kind of just in general move around the game. It's a big difference. And it uh, yeah, you can see what I'm talking about. It makes a big difference. I like turning it on again, so keep that in mind. I like having that on one because that means it's inside of the game. It takes it a second to render back in. But I understand people have different graphics settings, different graphics cards and different consoles that work better or worse. So use everything that I've just told you to the best of your ability to give yourselves the best chance, whether it's for PVP, crank everything that I talked about to the lowest possible setting. And if it's for yeah, PVE and you're just playing for yourself, you definitely want to make sure that you go and um, sorry, I'm just hitting the escape button so I can show you go into your console commands or for my PC users hit tab and then you're going to be able to go into your individual settings for those like casual solo player and crank it all the way up to your what your computer can handle 
and uh, definitely play for that quality aspect. For PvP or competitive styles, turn that all the way down because everyone else is and you wanna just be careful about that. Now, other things that you can change, these are a little bit more advanced and more for like a solo player mode. If you wanna think of it that way, I'm gonna go up to the actual command so you can see what I'm talking about. Um, but you can actually change three individual things and that's show instance foliage. And that's gonna basically turn on all I guess turn off the ability to see anything in the map that you can interact with, that you can break it. And you can turn that back on. It allows you to see through the forest and stuff, so it's kind of cheating, but you know, whatever you want to do. So you can show and then instanced, and you can see the things that you can ch change. You can do the instance grass, and that makes a big one if you have grass turned on. Um, it'll turn off all instanced grass, and that makes a big difference. Static message will uh, kind of change the view distances, and that helps a little bit for your overall, um, just everything in general. I'll just show you, see how it kind of changes my view distance way out in the distance. Um, but those are really three slight changes that you can hit instead of the actual massive changes in the long run that you can go for. So that is everything that you can change that are in the, yes, there are lots of small things that'll give you an FPS or a, uh, a frame per second or two. But for the most part, those are the major things that are going to change your quality versus your quantity of FPS. Um, and it just gives you the speed versus, oh man, that looks so pretty. I like playing for the, oh man, it looks so pretty, but everyone has their own style. So hopefully this video helps you. Yes, it's kind of a combination of some of the things that I've showed you already, the individual settings that you can change and I'll kind of key into those to the best of my ability. But that will be everything that you need combined together. Hopefully this helps. If you don't mind, again, smack that like button, leave a comment below, and then consider subbing to the channel. All right, teach out.